And we have a graphic of uh, other locations where it can happen, but mostly the nose, uh, forehead. Forehead mm -hmm. is another area as well. Yes. Uh, cheeks and the chin as well. Yes. So it's kind of like almost um, uh, in all these areas of the, the, the face. Yeah, pretty much. But the, for sure, the cheeks are the most common area. Okay. Does it occur at a certain age, or do you hear that it happens more like the middle age and older people? It is most common in the middle age group population, so patients between the ages of 30 to 50, even up to 60, although I have seen um, some teenagers already developing rosacea, 15, really? 16 year olds with it. Yeah. So besides age, which is more prevalent middle age elderly people, uh, what are other risk factors that you... So gender for sure. Oh really? Um, females are at an increased risk for developing rosacea, although men, when they do get it, they get it more severe. Um, besides age, so also your racial background, so patients of North European, Northern European descent are at an increased risk. Um, we said already age, so middle age. aged. Exactly. Uh, fair skinned individuals, so patients with lighter skin tones are at an increased risk as well. How much does a genetic play here? Um, genetics doesn't play a huge role, but it does play somewhat of a role. They are finding more evidence that patients who do have family members with a history of rosacea have an increased incidence of rosacea. Um, but so it doesn't play a humongous role, but it does play a role. So if you look at your family tree and you see that maybe your mom or, or abuela, uh, that kind of yes. closeness could yeah, be a yeah. good... Yeah, it's usually more like a first degree relative, not really so much like an aunt. You're looking more for like a parent, a grandparent, a sibling. And when a sibling has it, does that mean that all siblings will have it as well? No, no, not necessarily, no. no.